Ah! You guys doubled. You guys doubled. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh baby. What a morning. What a morning. What an awesome start for us here. Turkey season 23. Boom baby. Turkey season 23 is rolling on and we've gone through, we're already through five episodes. Here we are starting episode number six. And in this one, we're going with Brian Weiss trying to do the impossible, kill a turkey with a bow in the snow out there in Nebraska, early part of the season. Weather's not necessarily in his favor, but when Brian gets after something, he generally accomplishes his goal. And if you look at the footage they laid down, especially with all the tactic cam footage, it's literally incredible. We're also gonna go with Michael Heffernan down to Southwest Missouri during the Missouri youth season. And uh, you just have to see the show there that goes on in front of their blind. Awesome stuff with those guys. And uh, I just love the shooting and the continued shooting and the continued shooting, but they got it done. And that's what I like so much about that. We're busy in both Iowa and Illinois as both of those seasons has, have opened up. In Iowa, Chris Paradise, Coon Dog, uh, our buddy Seth and his nephew Taggart, and in Illinois, Forrest, Zach, Terry, they're getting it done over there. We're getting those edited as quickly as possible, but for now, we're gonna start with Brian Weiss out there in Nebraska, see if he can get it done with a stick and string on those turkeys in the snow. This one's pretty. Well, <laughs> it's the week before uh, turkey season starts here in Nebraska. It's zero degree windshield right now, snow is on the ground, and uh, we're out here getting ready for turkey season for some odd reason, but we're actually, we got one of our muddy ground blinds. We're gonna go set up so that the turkeys get used to it here over this next week. It's a great day for us to get out there because all the, the roads are icy. We can get on there without getting too muddy, but it, it kind of seems crazy that we're out here putting up turkey blinds in zero degree wind chill weather. But that's what we do. Well, it's frigid, but we got the uh, Twin Peaks muddy blinds set up here. It's a week ahead of time. And what we have learned over the years for early season turkey hunting, scouting is the name of the game and full strutter decoys. And so we're gonna use the Avinex full strut decoy, a couple of hens. We're gonna come down with our Matthews. It's early season archery here in Nebraska. They're gonna be used to the blind in seven exact days. And Cody and I are gonna be here ready to rock. Avianex Trudger decoy out here. Today is April Fool's Day, so we're gonna call it Avian Fool's Day because they're gonna come in and we're gonna fool them. So hopefully that's the trick today. All we have to do now is wait, let the sunrise come up, and hear those turkeys gobble. Gobble, 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 gobble. Left of the decoy. Right of the decoy. All right, well, we can hear them gobbling. That's a good sign. It's just getting light up here. They should start coming down here in the next 10, 20 minutes. It is gobbling.
be an next decoy. We knew it would take a visual early season. Calling doesn't help very much. We did some calling, we did some gobbling. As soon as they got eyes on that avian X decoy, they slowly came in. And then when they were coming in, we started having hens pitch down right on, right on top of us. And eventually one Tom got through the gauntlet a little bit. He didn't want to play a little bit, but the second Tom came in right in front of the avian X decoy, right in front of our tactic camps. What an awesome start for us here. Turkey season 23. Boom, baby. All right, guys, it's April Fool's Day for us. It's avian fool's day for the turkeys. And man, did we have a good hunt this morning. And actually the bigger group actually went over the hill and didn't even come in. Uh, so that's a good thing. There's more birds to hunt here, but Cody and I set up. We actually scouted this property two Saturdays ago and there's so much snow and so much drifting. Just getting down here is a feat. But we set up this blind two weeks ago, made it happen here with the Matthews and we set up what we call a Tacticam gauntlet where basically if, if they come into the avian strutter they're within range they're within shooting but if they don't if they just kind of go around Cody and I just don't shoot because we're here wanting to get that excellent tacticam footage we got it today um, and it's tough I think Cody and I are running 14 tacticams total and just to get a few good shots you know um, you got to set it up you don't know where the turkeys are going to come and go but um, when you have enough of them your odds are pretty good and that's kind of our plan here and so uh, success at the end of the rage in Matthews April 1st here in Nebraska we got ourselves a snowy turkey Brian gets it done all that tactic cam footage just made that hunt so special and it's it's part of that process of getting them in close getting an ethical shot and getting some of the most incredible turkey footage that's what we strive for when they work into those avians there's just nothing like it the footage that you end up getting especially with those tactic camps now we're getting ready to go hunting with michael down there in southwest missouri but before we do that i want to talk to you a little bit about calling and we try to be as informative as we possibly can within turkey season 23 so i'm going to go through some different sounds i often in our line like to use the tongue cutter plus or i or i like to use the ghost tongue with hs the reeds are much tighter the spacing is they're much closer together it gives you a much easier rollover and it eliminates a lot of that rasp we let the cuts create the rasp and then the reeds create the high pitch i'll give you an example You hear that high pitch and then into that little bit of rasp, the high pitch is coming from the reed spacing and the rasp is coming from that turkey tongue. It's why we call it the tongue series. When that top reed finally reverberates, you get those sounds. Now let's talk about actual calling scenarios when you're out working a turkey. One of the things that I like to do, and you'll hear me do it throughout turkey season 23, is try to sound like multiple hens. So I'll try to give a high pitch sound and you'll see when I'm giving that high pitch, I'm moving this corner of my mouth up and out so that the sound gets out easier. I'm also increasing tongue pressure. I will drop from that into a lower tone, more like a Jake yelping or a bossy old hen with less tongue pressure and more air in my cheeks. That's a simple transition that's easy to do Call out this side of your mouth with more tongue pressure, and then out of the front of your mouth, add air to your cheeks with lower tongue pressure, and you'll get that yuck, 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 yuck. That's something that works well for me, and more often than not, when I get a turkey to gobble, it's when I drop it back down into low gear and get that low, that low harsey tone in there. Another thing I like to do a lot is cluck and purr, and clucking and purring sometimes can be difficult to learn. I'll show you the easiest way that I've learned. It's a trilling of your tongue. And with that, I actually trill my lips at the same time. So they're both trilling at the same time. It is a very medium to light pressure on the reed. And I'm throwing a cluck in at the end. That's just a... The easiest way to learn is overblow the call. It, it, the call will make the sound better for you by overblowing it and it's more of a fighting purr, but you eventually, once you get the trill and the sound right, then you start backing off air pressure and backing off tongue pressure, and you do it much lighter. So you're teaching 
uh, your muscle memory with your tongue and your lips at a very high, heavy pace, and then you're backing it off in order to learn those soft clucks and purrs. You can add tonality to that. And give a lot of different sounds with chambers with your mouth and with your hands. It's a tough call to master, but that's the best way I can tell you how to master the, the purr. The other call, I'll talk about cutting. That's a call that's a sharp tone, and it's a very good call to uh, display excitement from the hen. And again, the best way to learn how to do it, put a lot of tongue pressure, but it's short little blasts of air. They're very, very distinct. And you can practice that sound when you're driving down the road with or without a call. Sometimes I do it just to get the overall uh, cadence down. One thing about uh, cutting, there's not a distinct cadence. It's kind of all over the place. Uh, but those are three calls that I use the most whenever I'm out there calling. And we designed this tongue series uh, to try and help you get more realistic sounds with less tongue pressure and an easier airflow. The reeds create the high pitch and it's that tongue that creates the turkey rasp. All right, just got to the farm here. Jace uh, had a tummy ache this morning, so uh, he didn't go to school, started to feel better. I just took my seatbelt off because we pulled into the, the road here, so that's what the dingin is. But I uh, thought, well, let's go put up a blind for youth weekend. That's this coming weekend, a couple more days. Today's Thursday, so we're going to go set up the blind for him and his big brother. And hopefully this weekend's full of strutting and gobbling and a couple Winchesters going off. So we're going to get this thing set up and get out of here. So Brett and I frost seeded this plot the other day. I say the other day, it was probably a month or so ago. Clover's coming up nice. I'm thinking what Jason and I have scoped out here is we're gonna put, I'm gonna tuck the blind in right here up against this fence. Been getting good pictures right here in this clover plot of birds coming out of that thicket over there. That being said, I think if we set the blind here, we know they roost over there to the south. Hop up here in the morning, put the avians right out in front of us. Hit the calls. Should be good right here, I think, don't you think? Yeah. Get that muddy blind and put it right there. Tuck it in nice but and neat. If the and wind goes that way. Well, we don't have to really have to worry about wind for, for turks. Only for deer. But I love the way you're thinking. done? Yeah. Got the blind set up? Yeah. Looks yeah. good? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice and brushed in. Looks real good. That 20 yard shot right there. Buddies in place. Yeah. Turkeys are here. Mm -hmm. We just need Saturday to come. Let's get out of here. They're in the blind already. Ready. All we gotta do is put the vest on and get out here. And like, say, see you Saturday. See you Saturday. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is ready to go? Yeah. Versus yeah. telling you good luck. Yep. Hope you guys both right. get one. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Yeah. On the road. We decided to sleep in this morning because it's like 25 mile an hour wind. So I text Brett at five and I was like, it's windy. We still probably have a chance of seeing birds, but I'd rather wait. The wind's supposed to die down at three according to, to deer casts. So I want a good hunt for the boys. One where we can get vocal, listen to birds and hopefully have a fun hunt. So we'd elected to be patient and wait a little bit and we're headed out now. So we're excited. Spring youth turkey season, Missouri. Fingers crossed for a double. Yeah, 
After resetting the blind up, we got we got everything situated. Winchesters are ready. Boys are, are ready to go. Avians are out there. Still a little bit of wind, but it, it, it dies down and it gets real still. And so I think I'm going to start hitting some calls on those light wind periods. But it should, it should cut out completely here before too long. So one thing I love about Youth Weekend is you can hunt all day and afternoon hunts. We don't get to experience them much in, in Missouri, and I, oh man, they're awesome. Birds work just like they do right off the roost in the morning, so I'm excited. I think Jace is excited. I think Hunter's excited, so crossing our fingers for a double. You guys doubled. I thought he you guys nice. doubled. You guys doubled. Nice. Oh my gosh. Two monsters. First double for the brothers. Look at that, Jace. Look at those daggers. I should have got... Wait. Bro. Yes. That was awesome. One heck of a hunt here in Missouri. What? Youth weekend, Saturday, 2000, 2023. Turkey season 23 is off to a bang for Brett and I. We got my sons out here, Hunter and Jace, and this is their first double together. Uh, we tried a couple years ago, and Hunter shot first when I counted to three, and Jace got a little gun shy, and uh, that didn't happen this go around. So super super stoked about this we decided to sleep in this morning because it was like 25 mile an hour winds it was the right choice we came in hopped in this blind got the muddy preview over there brett and i frost seeded this plot with clover it's one of our deer hunting farms and uh, there's tons of birds on it this spring so super jacked up for the boys um, can't wait for brett and i to get get behind the gun ourselves and have a little fun they're hogging all the action so far so <laughs> All right, we're gonna get out of here. All right, hopefully you enjoyed these hunts. Uh, I, I just love the turkey season series because you get to see some of the best turkey footage ever laid down. We pride ourselves on getting turkeys close, getting that point of view stuff. Hopefully you got some tips when I talked about the mouth calling, different techniques you can use to try and become more realistic. We're in turkey camp right now. It's myself and Coon Dog. We've had some great luck up here. I know the boys in Illinois are having a lot of fun and uh, those episodes will be right around the corner. What another awesome episode of Turkey Season 23. <laughs> 
we're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by MOTV. For more turkey content, check out our legendary series, King of the Spring, on the MOTV app today.